And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, happy Friday to everybody out there. Bit of a tricky day in the forecast for today. If you're watching this and it's still early in the morning, you may still be seeing some flurries and some light snow showers falling, but that does look to clear out by the lunch hour. Maybe a couple clouds sticking around and that is about it. But those clouds look to clear out as well, making way for a mostly to completely sunny afternoon and evening here in the Texas Panhandle. So taking you through the rest of the day today, like I said, some clouds sticking around through the rest of the morning. But the sun coming out and the temperatures warming up to above freezing, both of those factors will help aid in the melting of any snow that may have stuck earlier this morning. Uh, so I don't really see any hazardous conditions being present for uh, your, your way home tonight from work, thankfully, but the roads may still be slick as of right now. For tonight, a very chilly forecast, a low of 17 degrees with almost completely clear skies and very calm winds. Those calm winds uh, bringing those temperatures down very much to probably the coldest we've seen all season. But for the weekend, fairly quiet. Once we can get past today, just a very calm next few days. 47 on Saturday with plenty of sunshine to go around and the calm winds still sticking around. Sunday getting close, closer to average, a high of about 51 or 52 degrees. Maybe a few clouds working their way through the area on Sunday. But like I said, after a tricky day today, we look to quiet down for the next several days. We'll see a cold front come through Sunday night. Not really cooling things down all that much. Not a sharp cool off, but changing the wind direction. High of about 47 on Monday and right around 40 on Tuesday. First day of winter, though, is next Wednesday. Not really all that cold compared to next Thursday. Your eyes may be going to that. That's not a typo. Uh, Long-range models are indicating that we could see a very cold snap going into the end of next week.